Hey guys, before we get into the video today, I noticed that very few people are subscribed to the YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see more content like this, I recommend subscribing. But anyways, on to the video. Hi guys, Top Pops here. Today we're actually driving over to EB Games right now because a Funko Popcast actually let us know that the Marvel Zombie figures are going to be there. So I'm so excited to see what they have. I think they have about three or four of them. I'm not too sure because they sent over a photo of maybe three of them. They might have more though. Um, but anyways, we're going to be going over there right now to see what they've got. We're also going to be looking for some new mystery minis to get one of every single mystery mini. But anyways, guys, let's go over to EB Games and let's get started. All right, guys, I made it to EB Games. Fingers crossed they've got some left. All right, guys, so good news. They actually have the figures. So they've got the Zombie Hulk, which is a really great figure. There was one left of the Zombie Deadpool, and it looks like the box is actually pretty nice on this one, so that's a plus. And then they also have the Zombie Wolverine. So we'll be taking a closer look at these ones when we get back to the studio, but let's keep hunting first. It looks like they just got in the Avengers Endgame Valkyrie's Flight. I'm not going to be getting it today, but it is a really nice figure. Hey guys, so this is the, uh, this one was the child that Noah was looking for. Noah, how long have you been looking for this one? Probably about a week or two, maybe? Well, it's, it's, I've seen it for a while, like, but like, you know. Yeah, are we gonna get it today? Maybe. All right, <laughs> it's pretty cute. Also, if you guys are wondering, in terms of mystery minis, we already got this one right here, and then this is the GameStop exclusive one, but I don't think I've grabbed the Game of Thrones one, so I'm probably going to be getting this today. And it does show the three exclusives on the back. I don't know if this is exclusive to GameStop as well as here. That I'm not too sure, but then they also have the Minions ones, which we did grab yesterday. All right, guys, so we got our figures over at EB Games, and it looks like Noah also bought the child. <laughs> it's mine, though. Hey guys, before we go home, I know the Dollarama also sells mystery minis, so I thought we would check here as well. All right guys, so I'm looking around in the toy section. They have a lot of Hot Wheels cars, but other than that, I don't see too much. I mean, they do have this down here. It's Mateo from the Princess Elena of Avalar. But yeah, no mystery minis today, so let's go back to the studio. All right guys, so we are now back from EB Games, and let's show you guys everything that we got today. And I know today was a bit of a smaller hunt. We only went over to EB Games, but we did get some really great stuff. And thank you again to a Funko Popcast for actually telling us about these figures being there because without them, this hunt wouldn't have happened today. All right, so let's get into the first thing here that we picked up, which was not one of the Marvel Zombie Pops, but it was this right here. So this is a Game of Thrones mystery mini. And if you guys don't know, I'm trying to do a thing where I get one of every single mystery mini set ever created. And it's not gonna be the exclusive ones as well as the common set because usually there's one common set and then like two to three different exclusive ones. So we're just gonna do one of each one from each set. So if there's a Game of Thrones one, then there's also an, you know, an exclusive set to Hot Topic and maybe Barnes & Noble. We're only gonna do one of them. Whether it be the Hot Topic, Barnes & Noble, or the common one, I don't really care. I just want one of them. But we did get one of these today. This is the Game of Thrones. I believe it's the Series 2 set, and it doesn't say where it's exclusive to. I'm guessing this would have been GameStop, just because that's where I found it over at EB Games, and EB Games shares their exclusives with GameStop, or vice versa, whatever. Um, so you guys can see there, it does have the three exclusives at the bottom, so I'm guessing that's where it's from. But anyways, guys, let's get into the Marvel Zombie Pops because I'm excited to take a close-up look at these. Okay, so here is the first one here. This is the Zombie Hulk, and I really do love the detail on this one. You guys can see here is the figure right there. Now we have shown off one of these on the channel before this video and it was the Zombified The Thing. That one came out for SDCC a little bit before these ones did. So I'm glad that I did get that one for the set to help complete the whole thing. Let me actually pop some out of the box guys so I can see it a little bit better because it's hard to see in the box, especially the back of the figure. But yeah, what I think I really like about this is how there's like almost I would say rips in him and then you can see the green. They tried to make it less gory, or I think this is what the comics looked like more so uh, than them trying to make it less gory, but this figure does look really great. I'm a huge fan of it. I also like the way they did the hair kind of like ripped off there and you can also see some of his skull. These are just really, really well done and have some really great detail. And if you look closely, you can see that his teeth are kind of rotted and I think it's a really great addition to it. But yeah, this really does look like a zombified version of Hulk and I'm loving this thing. All right guys, so that was the Zombie Hulk. Now let's get into the next one here. I don't know which one to show off. Let's show off this one first. Okay, so this one right here is the Zombie Wolverine. Now this one you can kind of see like his, I guess you could say rib cage. It's a rib cage on the inside of him, which is actually really cool. Also, I am noticing that he's got kind of like metal bits to him and I'm guessing this is the adamantium coming out of him, I think. You guys can see right there, it's got a little bit more of a silver look to it. So you guys can see his jaw as well as the top of his head like right around here and his hand with the claws coming out of it are all kind of like that silver metallic. So I am guessing that's what it is, the adamantium. Then you guys can see some of the flesh has actually been like almost like chewed at or eaten at, which I think is a really great detail. And it's got like little green bits where the flesh would be. But overall, this one does look really great. 
I also like how his mask as well as his suit has like different tears in it and stuff like that. Like you can see um, on like the point up here, it's got like a piece missing from it, almost like Stitch's ear um, with like almost little nibbles or bites coming out of it. Nibble seems kind of, you know, not too scary, but I guess you could say large bites out of the side of it there. But yeah, overall, this one looks really, really well done. While I'm putting this one away, guys, I just wanted to mention that this is probably one of my favorite lines that Funko's done in a while now. This one as well as the Alien Remix ones are two of my favorites. Then guys, after these two, we had one more. Now this one here was probably my favorite one and they only had one of them left, so I'm glad that I could get it today. And this one here is the Zombie Deadpool. And there's some extra stuff going on with this one as well. It's not just the normal kind of, he's got a little bit of green on him. There's some really cool stuff going on here. Let me pop him out of the box so I can show you guys again a little bit closer up here. But he's got like a sword going through his chest as well. He's missing an arm. So I wonder if that's the way he's holding it is by shoving it through him. But also I'm wondering, does Deadpool, like can he fix himself if he's a zombie? Is he able to grow back his arm uh, being zombified like this? I'm not too sure. Maybe it does in the comic book and that would be a cool thing that he has that's different from everybody else. Like, you know, like Hulk super strong. Can Deadpool just all of a sudden regrow his zombified arm? I'm not too sure, but this one does look really great. I also like how the mask is kind of like drooping down on the side you guys can see it's kind of hanging down as well as the skull looks really great his mouth is really well done I also like the clear kind of like I don't know what you call it like goo or something like that coming off of his arm over here oh so you guys can see here he's actually taken his arm off or it's been ripped off or something like that or blown off I'm not too sure what it is but he's holding it with his other hand yeah, guys, I think so far this is probably my favorite one. I mean, I haven't gotten the entire set and seen them in person, but so far, out of the ones that I've got, this is probably my favorite. Yeah, guys, it's funny. I didn't realize that he was holding this arm with his other arm. Funko, I think this is a really great touch. And then you guys can also see on the back here, there's one more that we couldn't get out of the set just because they didn't have it there, and it was the Zombie Mysterio. Now, this one here is pretty cool because the inside of him actually has his brain sticking out of it, and the kind of like bubble, or you could say like a helmet that he wears, is cracked. With the Zombie Mysterio, though, I've only ever seen the back photo here, so so I don't know what it looks like in person, but when I do see it, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Guys, before we get out of here though, I wanted to grab my zombie, the thing, just to show you guys what it looks like. Because this is a 10 inch figure, guys, it's really hard to put on the 360 thing, so I did wanna kinda just talk about it here a little bit more in detail. And one thing that I really like about this figure is that Funko didn't make it so he had like bones on the inside of him. It's more of like a darker rock color. So you guys can see here, he's got his normal kind of like orange color on the top, but then on the bottom, it's like almost like as you go deeper into the earth, it kind of looks more like a darker kind of a grayish color. And I think that's a really cool touch. And because the thing is kind of made of rocks, when I first saw this figure, I was kind of like, well, he's not really made of like a skeleton. He's not a person. He's a bunch of rocks. So I think it's really cool that they did make his skeleton look like a rock. And one thing that I did want to mention, guys, is on the back of this box, you can see there's only four figures right there. We've got the Mysterio, Hulk, Wolverine, and Deadpool. But then on the back of this one here, I don't know what's going on with this. I wanted to show this off. On the back of this one, they actually have Gambit as well as Zombie Black Panther. So I don't know if those ones were canceled and they just didn't take them off of this box here or if they'll be coming soon. But yeah, you guys can see there, it's on the top right here, there's Gambit. And then on the bottom there is Black Panther. And I know that there is a GameStop exclusive Zombified Venom coming out. And when that one does come out, I'll totally pick it up. Well, anyway, Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you to a Funko Popcast for letting me know that these were at EB Games because I really did want to pick up the set and show it off to you guys. But I think personally, this is one of my favorite sets from this year. And like I said, it's either this one or the Alien Remix. I can't think of another one that I like more than those two just because they're so different and unique. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you ask, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.